Good evening. Welcome parents, teachers, friends, and of course tonight's award recipients. Tonight we celebrate the 11th annual Academic Excellence Ceremony in a very special way amid a very difficult time. We all wish that we could be gathered together today at Easton Area High School's auditorium to celebrate these honored members of the class of 2020. Unfortunately, our current situation does not permit that we gather, and for that, I truly apologize to our students and their families. This will become part of your high school history, as well as our nation's history. This evening, we honor the best of the best in a ceremony that has become one of the most special academic events of the year. The students we recognize here tonight have not only achieved high academic standing, but they are leaders in athletics, the arts, student government, and in our community. Tonight's ceremony is a small token of our appreciation for your years of dedication to achieving academic excellence. Students will be recognized in one of several categories this evening, scholarships and awards, academic excellence, which includes the top 5% of the senior class, and for excellence in a specific content area or our department awards. The common theme, however, remains excellence. Excellence is defined as the quality of being outstanding or extremely good surpassing ordinary standards. Our recipients tonight have obtained academic excellence with a consistent effort over four years across all subject areas. This is what defines you as excellent. Congratulations to each of you on your accomplishments while at Easton Area High School. Remain consistent and you will find excellence in everything you do. Your leadership is greatly appreciated and we wish you continued success in your chosen area of work, study, or service. The recipients for the Cheston Elementary PTA scholarships are Caitlin Crozer and Caroline DeRosa. Caroline DeRosa, I'm Mr. Gonzalez and on behalf of Francis Andrew March Elementary School, congratulations on receiving the Eric Van Armen Scholarship Award. We wish you best of luck in your endeavors at Penn State University and beyond. Always be proud of your Leopard and Rover roots, and you will always have family in us. Keep up the great work, and congratulations. The recipients of the Forks Elementary PTA Scholarship are Joseph Heckel and Haley Turner. The recipient of the Paxinosa PTA Scholarship is awarded to Yesenia Rodriguez. The recipient of the Shawnee Elementary PTA Shining Shark Scholarship is awarded to Maya Fonku. The recipient of the Shawnee Elementary PTA Shark Spirit Award is awarded to Paige Mayer. The recipient of the Easton Area Middle School PTA Academic Achievement Scholarship is awarded to Bailey Cooper. The recipient of the Easton Area Middle School PTA Dr. Simia Spirit Award is Paige Mayer. The recipients of the Easton Area High School PTSA Scholarships are James Madison and Mackenzie Hutchison. The recipient of the Easton Area Council of PTA Scholarship is Jake Sturgio. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to congratulate all the Academic Excellence Award winners this evening. Your achievement is one that you should be very proud of. Each year, the Board of Education sponsors scholarships for graduating seniors who not only distinguish themselves academically, but also participate in community service activities. Usually, two scholarships are presented. This year, due to the number of and quality of applicants, the Board of Education decided to present three scholarships. It is my pleasure to announce the following three seniors who are the recipients of the Board of Education Scholarships. A $500 scholarship will be presented 
to Ainsley Williams. A $300 scholarship will be presented to James Madison and a $300 scholarship will be presented to Maya Fonku. Congratulations to all three seniors and on behalf of the Board of Education, I extend congratulations to all seniors on your upcoming graduation and best wishes with your future endeavors. Congratulations to the Class of 2020 Senior Recognition Award recipients. The recipient of the Sons of the American Revolution Scholarship is Julian Kelly. The recipient of the Daughters of the American Revolution Scholarship is Katerina Lisinecki. The recipient of the Dwight D. Eisenhower Award is James Madison. It's my great honor today to congratulate Easton's best of the best. As seniors in our top 5%, you've distinguished yourselves as truly outstanding students and young adults. For your entire academic career, you made the necessary sacrifices, committed 100% to the process, and remained dedicated to your academic and personal excellence, all resulting in your incredible achievements and your good standing as the leaders of the class of 2020. Thank you for providing your peers an example of exceptionality in action. Thank you for representing our entire school community with class and dignity. And thank you for your pride in our school, especially in these trying times. Yes, you will always be remembered as the class of the quarantine. For that, we are sincerely regretful. But through the solitude and darkness that is COVID-19, you continue to shine bright as the future leaders of our country. We wish you well as you advance toward your future endeavors. We salute you as the highest achievers of the class of 2020. And we thank you for your rover pride. Good luck and God bless. The student to be recognized is Adil Ansari, top 5%. Adil Ansari's future plans include attending East Stroudsburg University to major in computer science. The next student to be recognized is Andrew Basile. Andrew's future plans include attending Bloomsburg University to double major in computer science and digital forensics. I would like to recognize Deanna Benson Strickland. Deanna's future plans on attending Pittsburgh University, Dietrich School of Arts and Sciences, where she plans on majoring in psychology. The student to be recognized is David Blake. David's future plans include attending Rochester Institute of Technology to study civil engineering. And the next student to be recognized is Timothy Bunce. Tim's future plans include attending Penn State University where he will major in biomedical engineering. The student to be recognized is Harper Cohen. Harper's future plans include attending George Washington University to major in economics. The student to be recognized is Anna DeFelice, top 5%. Anna DeFelice's future plans include attending Lafayette College to major in chemical engineering. The student we would like to recognize is Kevin Farrell for being in the top 5% of the class of 2020. Kevin will be attending Purdue University and majoring in aerospace engineering. The next student to be recognized is Joshua Flores. Josh's future plans include attending the University of Pittsburgh to major in nursing. The student to be recognized is Maya Fonku. Maya's future plans include going to Yale University and majoring in political science. The next student to be recognized is Joe Frasca. Joe's future plans include attending the University of Michigan to major in aerospace engineering. The student to be recognized is Georgina Garcia. Georgina's future plans include going to Cornell University and majoring in animal sciences. The next student to be recognized in top 5% class of 2020 is Caroline Garrett. Caroline will be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill to study in journalism. Caroline, go forth and conquer. The next student to be recognized is Alex Hand. Alex's future plans include attending the United States Naval Academy to major in engineering. 
The next student to be recognized is Kayla Joyner. Kayla's future plans include attending East Stroudsburg University to major in nursing. Billy Cooper's future plans include attending East Stroudsburg University to major in early childhood education. Best of luck, Bailey, as you begin your journey to join us in this noble profession. The next student to be recognized is Lauren Lukacek. Lauren's future plans included attending Bucknell University to major in engineering. Congrats, Lauren. The student to be recognized is Katerina Lisanicki. Katerina's future plans include going to Drexel University and majoring in material sciences and engineering. The next student to be recognized is Jimmy Madison. Jimmy's future plans include attending Penn State University to major in computer science. The student to be recognized is Dylan McIntyre, top 5%. Dylan McIntyre's future plans include attending Cornell University to major in computer science. Congratulations, Angelica Perogue. Angelica's future plans include attending Penn State University to major in biochemistry, molecular biology. Congratulations, Angelica, and best of luck. Well done. The next student up is Courtney Reed. Courtney will attend Amherst College, where she will major in physics and astronomy. The next student to be recognized is Victoria Santos. Victoria's future plans include attending Arizona and is entering undeclared. The student to be recognized is Brad Scalzo. Brett's future plans include attending Virginia Tech to major in mechanical engineering. The student to be recognized is Daniel Simboli, top 5%. Daniel Simboli's future plans include attending Lehigh University to major in computer science and business. The next student to be recognized is Greg Soltis. Greg's future plans include attending the University of Pittsburgh to major in engineering. The student to be recognized is Haley Turner. Haley's future plans include attending Arcadia University to major in early childhood education. The student to be recognized is Zafir Bouya. Zafir's future plans include attending Columbia University to major in political science. The student to be recognized is Ainsley Williams. Ainsley's future plans include attending the University of Pittsburgh to major in nursing. The student I would like to recognize for being in the top 5% of the 2020 graduating class is Ryan Walford. Ryan will be attending Rochester Institute of Technology. He will be majoring in computer engineering. The art department would like to recognize Emily Smolik. Emily's future plans include attending Montclair State College and majoring in animation and illustration. Best wishes to a creative future, Emily. We know you'll find success. The art department would like to recognize Sarah Smolik. Sarah's future plans include attending Montclair State College and majoring in animation and illustration. Best wishes, Sarah. We know with your creativity, you'll find future success. The Business and Computer Technology Department would like to recognize Bryce Roman. Bryce's future plans include attending Rochester Institute of Technology and majoring in accounting and finance. The English Department would like to recognize Grace Kirby. Grace's future plans include attending Drexel University to major in secondary education, English. Congratulations, Grace. The ESL Department would like to recognize Blennon Azuno as the ESL Academic Excellent Award recipient. Blennon will be attending Northampton Community College in the fall as an accounting major. Way to go, Blennon. We are so proud of you. The Family and Consumer Sciences Department would like to recognize Alexandra Maragulia. Alex's future plans include attending Kutztown University to major in elementary education. Good luck, Alex. The History Department would like to recognize Paris Jackson. Paris's future plans is to attend Old Dominion University. She'll be majoring in Mechanical Engineering. The Math Department would like to recognize Connor Houghton. Connor's future plans include attending Northampton Area Community College and majoring in Math. Congratulations! 
The music department would like to recognize Nicolette Kindred. Nicolette's future plans include attending Boston Conservatory at Berkeley to major in double bass performance. From your special spot at Easton High School, the physical education department would like to honor you, Luke Storm. Luke's future plans include attending Duke University and majoring in sociology and entrepreneurship. Congratulations, Luke, and good luck. The next student to be recognized is Tommy Kudikunst. Tommy's future plans include attending Penn State University to major in one of the sciences. The Technology Education Department would like to recognize Melanie Santella. Melanie will be attending Penn State University and majoring in engineering. The World Language Department would like to recognize Arika Buia for her outstanding commitment to the study of both the Spanish and German languages and cultures. Arika's future plans include attending New York University and majoring in psychology. We wish her all the best. Congratulations, Arika. The students who received the Perseverance Award is Omali Grant. Omali will be joining the National Guard after high school. I would be remiss if I did not take an opportunity to thank the PTA organizations in the Easton Area School District. I would like to thank all of our PTAs for their partnership and participation each and every year in this great event. Each of our district's PTA organizations honor a member of the senior class with a, with a scholarship. Thank you to all of our PTAs and its memberships for supporting our students. I would also like to give a special thanks to Mr. Falcone, Mrs. Schumer, and Mrs. Sue, whose attention to detail made this Academic Excellence Awards happen despite extraordinary circumstances. To the teachers recognized this evening, thank you for your positive influence on our students, and tonight is a recognition of your hard work and dedication from your most difficult critics. To our award recipients, you came to Easton Area High School in 2016. You embraced the experience, and you are leaving with memories that will last a lifetime. Congratulations on the job well done. We are proud of you and wish you well in your future endeavors. This concludes the 11th Annual Academic Excellence Ceremony. I want to congratulate each and every student that received recognition tonight. And we want to wish you the best of luck on all your future endeavors and you will be greatly missed. And now to conclude tonight's ceremony, a special guest. I'm Mr. Kapora. I would first like to thank Mrs. Schumer and Mr. Falcone for putting together the 2020 Academic Excellence Ceremony and for giving me the honor to speak with you this evening. I want to congratulate the Senior Award recipients, the Department-Based Seniors of the Year, and the 2020 Top 5%. A well-deserved honor for each and every one of you. Your senior year has been unprecedented, and yet you still continue to inspire you still continue to have a positive impact on your communities. I hope your college communities realize how lucky they are and how better they will become the first day you step on campus. I wanted to end this evening with once a rover, always a rover. But you all have embraced that in your hearts already, so there's no need to be reminded. Enjoy your summer, you deserved it. Best wishes for continued success and happiness. Have a good evening.